What's up my friends and my new friends, welcome back to a brand new video. Today in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, I'm going to be comparing the Double Death Slicer versus the Chain Destructo Disc Barrage in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Now we're going to compare these two ultimate attacks and see which one does the most amount of damage. The strongest attack between these two overall. Now we're going to use the Super Saiyan Awoken scale. And we're going to use the Super Vegeta Awoken scale. While we're testing out both of these attacks. So we're going to test out both of these with our standard form. Then we're going to test out both of these as Super Saiyan 3. Then we're going to test out both of these as Super Vegeta 2. So what we're going to do. Actually I'm going to show you guys this in case you don't know. My equipment I currently have on is Beerus's clothes. Beerus's clothes are actually pretty effective uh, when it comes to Key Blast Supers and they'll help increase the maximum amount of damage as possible. As you can see on Key Blast Supers, it's got plus 5 on Key Blast Supers for each piece of clothing. And then I will defeat you, which basically boosts Key Blast base skills for a long time right when the battle starts. So that's a pretty nice feature. And then if we go to boost attributes, you'll see my key blast super is at 125. Now, in case you are wondering, my character is a female sand. And female sand characters in Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 are more likely to do more key blast damage than any other character race. So we're going to go ahead and go to training. From training, we're going to um, activate the HUD. And we won't activate the HUD. So... I'm going to go ahead and put on my custom character, and let's go ahead and test this against... You know what, let's let's do Broly this time. Let's test it against Broly and see uh, how effective these ultimate attacks are against him and see how much damage we can actually like inflict to him. And, you know, basically try to get a better understanding, uh, a better idea, in fact, of the two ultimate attacks to see which ones are more effective, which ones connect better, which ones do the most amount of damage. Now, as you can see to the right, we've got damage, combo damage, max combo damage, combos, and max combos. So we're going to test these skills from close range and farther range. So let's go ahead and use Chain Destructo Disc Barrage. This ultimate attack is actually very effective it does a lot of damage now if we use double death slicer which is one of freeze's ultimate attacks it's actually really effective as well and it does a bunch of damage now the way to control this attack is if you use double death slicer you can keep pressing that triangle or um whichever uh console you're playing on if you're playing on xbox you're probably going to be pressing the Y button. So, the more you use Double Death Slicer and you tap that triangle, the more damage it's going to do because it's going to continuously follow your opponent to wherever their location is. And it's going to actually do more damage than the Chain Destructo Disc Barrage. So, as you can see, we're controlling it a little bit here. And that's about as much damage as it does overall. So, we're going to go ahead and do this. Actually, in fact... You know what I forgot to do is I should go to health and I should have it at normal. So, let's go ahead and use double death slicer again. Sorry for the um, delay. So, that's what the double death slicer does right there. That's actually a lot of damage, but it's not too much damage. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to use the chain destructo barrage. So that did about 624 damage. The Chain Destructo Disc Barrage, act, okay, now that's that's a hell of a lot better because we just did 1,872 damage. So, you want the the discs to, <coughs> to connect, and then you want to press triangle again. So, actually, if you think about it, the Chain Destructo Disc Barrage is better, but personally, I really like the death, Double Death Slicer just because you can continuously tap that triangle button and it'll follow to your opponent's location. But so will Destructo Disc. So I don't know. It depends whichever attack you guys prefer. For me, it's kind of a little bit uh, of a tie for both of these attacks. Let's transform again. Select him. And let's go ahead and use Chain Destructo Disc Barrage again. So let's send him flying. Let's keep pressing that square. That actually did 2,059 damage to the guy. 
and he lost a lot of health. So let's go ahead and do that again just because the health was on auto recovery and you noticed how he was auto recovering while I was sending those destructo discs at him which isn't really good that's a big no-no so double death slicer let's see how much damage it does so it connects with him you tap triangle connects with him again you tap triangle connects with him again so personally the uh, double death slicer is probably more effective uh, with Super Saiyan 3 let's go ahead and check it out one more time so that was 686 damage 624 so combo damage wise it does a lot of damage so let's go ahead and go super saiyan 3 again if it will let us i don't know why it's not letting me go super saiyan 3 okay super saiyan 3 so 3744 wow max combo damage is 5719 so let's go ahead and use chain destructo disc barrage again send about five of those at him we kind of missed 5,790 so let's go ahead and go back a little bit a little bit further away from a distance okay so the chain destructo or actually that was the double death slicer the double death slicer actually if you hit those combos spot on they actually do more damage than the chain destructo disc barrage so the the double death slicer actually is better than the chain destructo disc barrage so double death slicer takes about three key bars chain destructo disc barrage takes about three key bars as well let's go ahead and make him strong so from here let's go ahead and use chain destruct see he just broke our stamina right there so the Chain Destructo Disc Barrage actually takes a lot more time to initiate the ultimate attack and connect with the opponent. So both of these attacks are actually terrible when it comes to timing. Your opponent will literally screw you up if you're not careful. So what I strongly recommend doing is gaining control over your character and trying to stamina break if you can. The Double Death Slicer and the Chain Destructo Disc Barrage both take a lot of time to use those ultimate attacks. So it really leaves you vulnerable and you really got to keep an eye out. What I strongly recommend is uh, either, you know, trying to stamina break the opponent and then hoping for the best that you're going to get that stamina break and you're going to be able to connect your ultimate attack. Now what I don't understand is, okay, so Broly just screwed up bit I I actually <laughs> Oh my What you want to do what I strongly recommend with both of these attacks is don't use both of these attacks when you're close to your opponent because if you stamina break your opponent he is going to just mess you up if you're trying to connect and um you know and you're trying to do these ultimate attacks he's going to mess you up he's going to break your stamina and you're going to be like really screwed when when you're trying to use the attacks. So, if he's in if he, your opponent's in your face, you should definitely strong I strongly suggest kicking him away and trying to stamina break him or not stamina break him. Just kick him away and then use your like kick him away just like that and then use your ultimate attacks. It, it's definitely a lot more efficient and effective. But overall, if you kick away your opponent like that, or you stamina break him and then kick him away and run away, the Chain Destructo Disc Barrage is probably going to be the more superior attack here. But when it comes to damage-wise, the Double Death Slicer is going to be more effective. Let's go ahead and equip our Super Vegeta 2 to our character and jump right in. Now, the Double Death Slicer is actually a pretty sufficient attack. As you can see, we're readying the attack, it connects with the opponent, and we continue to press L2, R2, and Triangle. And we were able to get 6,631, which was the max combo damage. But, as you can see, with combo damage, we're actually able to get around let's see let's see what we can get around we were actually able to get around 2932 now if we use the chain destructo disc barrage we're gonna get about mm, 
probably 6,108. So the Chain Destructo Disc Barrage, without a doubt, does a lot more damage to your enemy compared to the Double Death Slicer. So there you go, guys. Let me know in the comment section below which ultimate attack you prefer over the Chain Destructo Disc Barrage or the Double Death Slicer. Personally, it's going to be a tie for both of these attacks on me. Um, I actually maybe like the Chain Destructo Disc Barrage a little bit slightly better, but... Um, you know, both of these attacks to me seem a little bit too similar, too much of the same, and the, uh, the Double Death Slicer just doesn't cut it for me. It doesn't do as much damage, but it's a really good attack to just, like, mess around and troll your opponent with, because look at the amount of damage it can do to your opponent compared to the Chain Destructo Disc Barrage. Like, yeah, these attacks do take a while to initiate and connect with the opponent and yeah the chain destructo disc barrage does do more damage than the double death slicer but if you look at it this way okay if we use the double death slicer and we continue to connect it with the opponent we were able to do 2900 damage there 2900 damage there and from what it looked like, or 2,900 damage there, and then 4,300 damage there. So actually, if you think about it, the Double Death Slicer, if you connect it every single time, it's actually going to do more damage than the Chain Destructo Disc Barrage. Because the Chain Destructo Disc Barrage, like, yeah, you throw, like, five of them. But personally, I think the Double Death Slicer actually does more damage. Because if you see, we did 6,100 damage there, but now we just connected it for 2,900 and then we just connected it for basically like 1500 there. So if you think about it, if you can land all of your double death slicer attacks and they'll connect with your opponent, you're actually going to do be doing a lot more damage as compared to the chain destructo disc barrage. That is if you have your boost attributes all the way up to 125 on key blast supers and you're wearing clothing that gives you a, an additional boost in key blast supers and you're using uh well you know either super vegeta 2 or super saiyan 3 which one you whichever one you guys are comfortable with whichever one you guys prefer to use go with that one all right so let me know in the comment section below between these two attacks which one you approve of most that you prefer and if you guys have any video requests at all any uh, that you would like any attacks that you guys would like me to compare in Xenoverse 2 just drop it down in the comment section below I'll try my best to make that video I've got a list of videos of comparisons that you guys have already suggested and I'm already working on those so thank you so much for the support on these videos these comparison videos just all of my videos on my channel I greatly appreciate it you guys are amazing I love you guys so much please keep living life to the fullest every single day live positive and enjoy life make good decisions out there live happy have an incredible day have a positive day all right guys live life to the fullest all right be as positive as you can be and try to make the most of your day and each and every single day ahead so thank you so much for watching this video you guys are amazing and i guess i'll see you guys on my next video peace